We focus on regenerative agriculture through hemp, where we're focusing on land conservation. So the carbon sequestration application of what hemp provides to the soil will release less gases to the ozone to help combat climate change and increase our fertility in our land. My name is Patrick Brown. I'm the fourth generation farmer here at Brown Family Farms, located in Henderson, North Carolina. We are a 175 acre uh, row crop farm operation that's diverse in uh, livestock as well and uh, produce. I've been farming as the fourth generation farmer since 1997 under my father, the Reverend Dr. A. a. Brown. My father taught me everything about row crop. We started out as our main farm production in tobacco up until 1998 when we stopped planting tobacco, but we kind of continued in tobacco production up until 2017 doing lease acres. I started growing industrial hemp for fiber and herd for building materials and textile farming opportunities. But I had to start on the medicinal side, growing CBD hemp, where we became vertically integrated with our own product line inventory, license and patent in 2018. Since 2018, I was able to obtain contracts in herd and fiber production for textile corporations such as VF Corporation and Patagonia. It allows us to be well diverse and diversified operations for farming, where we are farming non-supported crop programs, as well as a commodity structure program potentially in the specialized crop production under the USDA. So today I currently farm over 350 acres of hemp production. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, become processors of our own internal uh, hemp production so that we can share some of the profit margins on the retail side. We are involved in the cost share programs for green tunnel and high tunnel production also land conservation for waterways and easements. And we also work with other programs within the USDA to ensure our non-supported crops, um, such as specialty crops for hemp. So with the uh, Soil and Water Conservation Office through the NRCS, we are part of their cover crop program, where we plant about 70 to 80 acres of cover crop uh, grain, which is what we use as cereal rye to help lock in some of the carbon that was already uh, harvested from our herd production. So it helps uh, going through those programs to give us a benefit for land rotation and conservation. So this particular piece of hemp is what we call the herd. So the fiber is decorticated from the herd. The fiber makes textile, which is called a woven material. And the non-woven material is your herd. Herd has over 25,000 end users. It can help replace plasters. It can create biochar for fertilization. It can help build homes that are energy efficient. And it can help new businesses create tax rebates when they focus on clean energy. So we're North Carolina GAP certified Harmonized Plus, where we sell to commercial uh, wholesalers such as Fresh Point Cisco, Happy Dirt, Working Landscape, and 4P Foods out of Charlottesville. I focus on agritourism, marketing, and social media influence. Our farm is not a nonprofit, but we are trying to develop a nonprofit program uh, to be able to teach skids because our current public school system here in our county does not have any vocational support for agriculture. Uh, so those are one of my plans is to try to uh, provide a way or alternative to the community uh, through the youth to try to develop some future farmers of America, especially minority opportunities. A lot of things that people don't see from social media is behind the scenes of actually how much labor it takes to run a farm, to be able to sit in front of uh, landowners to try to obtain more acres and more plant ground to be able to plant. Um, I'm constantly speaking with landowners, trying to expand and scale up our farm for the infrastructure that's needed without having to take out USDA loans or any other financial loans to be able to make sure that our farm was in the production that I would like to see forthcoming. Um, so it's very important uh, that people understand, you know, as a, as a disenfranchised farming uh, program here in North Carolina, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that as a minority farmer that the large farmer doesn't have to deal with.